Good morning, everyone. It's Anne from Martin House Flowers. I wanted to uh, take you along today for some of my projects on this windy but warm day. It's going to be high of 78, I believe, today, but super windy, so but you can feel it's a warm breeze. Um, so I'm just going to set up the camera. I do have my new microphone that hopefully um, will cut out some of this wind. Um, so my first project is to um, plant those boxwoods that you see behind me. I um, went to Costco yesterday after scouting around town. I went to Home Goods and all the different places where I normally buy uh, pots. So I managed to find these ceramic pots, glazed ceramic pots. They're not marked as winterized, so I went ahead and bought one of those, um, a set of those uh, wheeled little platforms, you call it, just so I can um, move them around. I'll probably put them into the greenhouse in the winter because I have planted boxwoods in containers before and they haven't overwintered. And as you know, the ones on my walkway, smaller ones, I had to replace four out of seven of them, but luckily um, the garden center that I purchased them from, I got them from Lowe's, um, they uh, warrantied them, which was really nice. So I just popped in four new replacements. So just to, um, these ones are a little larger, but what a great deal I got at Costco. I picked those up for $21.99 and the ceramic, or sorry, the um, clay pots, glazed clay pots, those were um, uh, around 46 to 49.99, I can't recall. I was really torn between those or these gray lightweight concrete ones that I'm sure you're seeing I, that I saw in Home Depot and then I saw them at Costco. But I think the, the dark glazed, almost like a navy, not quite as cobalt as the ones I have in the backyard, but I think those pop nicer on my gray house. So um, my uh, Viola's pansies here that I got from Costco about a month ago now are still doing well. One day I found them completely flopped over, but they were just lacking water. So I have to remember that because they're on the porch here, they don't get the rain that uh, my other urns do over here. My alliums are about to bloom. Look at that. So cool. Peonies. These are the Sarah Bernhardt. It's really nice to see in the second year here um, that there are multiple branches now. This was a struggling one the first year we planted in um, June of 2022. So they're, they're coming out really early, the buds. Wow. It's like other YouTubers have said, it's pretty much three weeks ahead of schedule because last year my peonies bloomed in late May and typically they bloom in June but you know last year was the benchmark of end of May I don't know it might happen even sooner look at this bud here it's really um yeah already showing color and there's a third one over there So I'm going to just take you around a little bit uh, before I start my project, but um, this is one, this is the container in the back corner there that um, where I had planted tulips uh, and left the actual pot on the porch over the winter versus the two in front that bloomed beautifully. They're finished. The one over here that was um, multi kind of raspberry colored one multi-layered one I'll call it because I had many colors and then the white with the yellow centers they're pretty much finished but I think they look they still look pretty I'm gonna let those finish up and then dig them out I did buy some annuals um, that I'll show you uh, that are just sitting in the back where it's a little sheltered uh, just behind the garage but yeah I planted up this um, topiary uh, boxwood much like the ones, exactly like the ones I have by my potting bench in the backyard. So 
um, with that, I decided I would do those boxwoods. So I'm going to plant those up in a minute. Just wanted to show you how this is doing my Easter pansy and candy tough bouquet or um, urn is doing. Still doing really well. I did order um, some Proven Winners, uh, Proven Winners Direct, some annuals to go in these urns, but I think these are still going to be good for a while. The Candy Tuft has really expanded. I'll show a before, but they've, like, if you look, they've multiplied. So, yeah, doing really well. But look at Kiss Me Kate, where I had to cut back the branch that had grown three, three to four feet up the trellis. Um, but it's got lots of new growth. Really happy with that. Um, I'm going to have to do some kind of training. I, I saw in another video where they planted um, climbing roses sort of on an angle so that it would grow um, closer to the trellis. So that's a learning. I wish I had done that. Sounds like it makes total sense. But you can see this original um, branch was sort of angled, but these ones are climbing straight up here. So, um, but anyway, you know, it's any climber, you're really just focusing on growing strong canes as opposed to getting it to climb. So I'll just concentrate on that this year. Um, you see the mint compost around there uh, that I picked up from heirloom roses and I put around all my roses. But um, when the um, rest of my roses come from David Austin and an heirloom in first week of May, I've also ordered some more um, fish fertilizer. So I will fertilize all my roses at that time. But I wanted to show you, here's some uh, Proven Winners white phlox that I picked up in the clearance section of Lowe's last year. I love going back there. That's where I picked up my pulmonaria a week or so ago. But look how they're just coming up beautifully. So I planted those are beautiful white and they're not supposed to get the powdery mildew. They've improved that. Um, so I can't wait to see those, but look at my tulips. They're pretty much done, but it's still from, from the street. Still shows color. There are the replacement um, green mountain boxwoods and this pot has some kind of short little yellow tulips very short i did try out the cushions that i had in the garage for the seat cushions and they're kind of a turquoisey blue and I didn't like it. My husband said if you have to question it then you know you're not happy with it. One of these um, hydrangeas just looks so bad, so dead, I just pulled it out. Um, these are waiting. There's, I've pulled two of them out out of the five. These are the um, Proven Winners Let's Dance Lovable. I'm waiting for the Let's Dance Skyview replacements to come. Um, and I put some bare root peonies here, kind of tried to expose the mulch a little bit. I know I didn't plant them more than two inches deep, but just wondering if the mulch, which is pretty thick, and I haven't even put in this year's layer in the front bed. I've done the entire house around all the beds except for this new rose bed and the front bed and I have gosh probably about 12 bags left over there um, but uh, I did pull off and tried to clean my door pulled off that box with wreath because we always try to relocate the nest that they try to put in um, build a nest there and 
you know, last year we pulled off at least two nests. We don't move it if there are eggs, but there's never been eggs, but they just basically start building their nest. And um, the second round, after pulling out the first um, nest, they then cr started to create a second one. And um, so I just went off, I pulled off the wreath. This pot here is not um, doing well. I planted some late bulbs in there. Nothing's coming up but one. But uh, there's Lady of Shalott over there looking pretty good. Midas Touch is looking really teeny. But New Dawn is looking pretty nice. And the Sweet Peas, I think I'm going to call it a bust. Not seeing that they're doing very good. I did a video a few weeks ago where I planted these in the ground and just not looking really hopeful. But New Dawn is climbing, starting to climb naturally, moving this way. So maybe New Dawn will do well this year. Maybe she'll get a bloom. Well, she did bloom last year. Um, this is my Rose and Sharon. I'm seeing some buds, so that's good. Carefree wonder that the rabbit ate is looking pretty much gone. I feel like the rabbit's been here and really cleaned up whatever was left. So that's a bust. I don't think heirloom roses will warranty animal attacks. <laughs> but my bobos are leafing out, which is nice. Two of the three lavenders look like they're leafing out. Little lime hydrangeas doing really well. So here's where Julie came out and flagged and painted the electrical. Not that I'm planning to put anything else in there, but um, these are quick fire fab looking really nice in the new bed. But look how windy it is. <laughs> This is looking really bent. I'm sorry for the noise. On really windy days, I just want to turn, take that, um, our harbor bell off. But my husband's not out here yet. So I think I'm going to start digging the three holes for the lavender, or sorry, the um, lilacs. So now I know exactly, because I was planning to put one right about here. And basically the whole idea is to cover up that box, those boxes that are not on our property, but a bit of an eyesore. So this is, this is a, a red bud. I think it's an eastern red bud. Um, I have to double check, but it's I don't think it's the same one as the one on the front lawn because it is just leafing out yellow and I don't see any pink buds. So we'll see what happens there, but at least it's leafing out. And then I was going to put the forsythia in this corner so that the purple uh, red bud will be in front of it. It will grow up to like 25 feet eventually. So in this corner, so there's nothing here painted, and then the other bloomerang right here. So to create this sort of triangle, and I'll have this sort of um, triangular um, bed eventually will join all of this. Just to give us a nice little uh, floral corner, just to see the shrubs. I wanted to show you the beautiful um, pine cones. That are pretty reddish on my Black Hill spruce. Do you see that? Beautiful. Those. 
that's gorgeous. And the new blue foliage coming out on that Albert. Look how tall that sky. Harry Potter tree or weeping cypress, but this um, Korean fir is, which you know showed a lot of uh, stress last year. Lots of red foliage last year, but nothing this year. But it's slowly growing in, filling in, which is really encouraging. You see all that so fresh. That's really good to see. So all that stress that was, you know, that they had shed a lot of these red, red uh, foliage there. Um, they're now getting new. So you see all the new, yeah, new growth is always a good sign. And this is my side, uh, Serbian, Serbian spruce that is blue on the underside and green on the upper side, which is a really cool um, feature. But look how red, and I know these cones go purple. Um, they've been bluish purple in the past. So I think in the summer they go purple from this gorgeous reddish raspberry. Isn't that beautiful? So this is a Serbian spruce. I would say that it's fuller, but not as tall as the others. That, um, we, you know, we started out, it was about a, it was about a six foot tree. And this lilac, I think is finished. Another Black Hills pine cones are pretty standard on that one. Um, but this is a builder um, tree. And you, when I use the app, it just says it's an apple tree, but I believe it is a flowering crab apple. So it's quite pretty. Last year, it was a really short um, bloom time. And in Canada, I always planted a crab apple tree for my daughter, who's born first week of May, and it always bloomed the week of her birthday. Um, so it, this tells me <laughs> that it's definitely, um, I'll put up on the screen the name of it that comes up on my, on my um, app, but it's definitely a, it's definitely a, a fire and crab apple tree because it's, um, it's not, it's not a fruiting tree. They would never plant a fruiting apple tree, which of course my husband's like, can we plant some apple trees now, now that we have our five fruit trees over there? I said, sure, there's some space, why not? <laughs> so I wanted to, we had planted some um, seeds over here. These are sweet dreams, sweet peas, and perennial sweet peas, but we also planted some poppies in the center there. I don't know if they'll come up. And this one has the tiny grape hyacinths. I think I'm going to put a geranium in the middle there. And these tulips here are late flowering. But I, you know, I picked these pots up three for ten dollars from Facebook Marketplace and probably spent that on the <laughs> the, um, the trays underneath, but which are a little large, but these are clay. But anyway, I, I planted these tulips probably not till January, which is why they're late, but not a bad idea, right? Because then your early ones over here bloom first and are still doing really well. Like look at the color on those. Just beautiful. And look how there's this one red tulip in the bunch. I think I picked these up um, late in the season from a local hardware store, Menards. Our Norway spruce, showing lots of growth. So the tulips in the raised bed are coming up nicely. These are the tulips that I planted super late in February, just because I had some 
um, online late night purchases that I forgot about and arrived and came out here in February <laughs> to plant. There's an empty space there because that's where the other obelisk goes. The wooden obelisk my husband built and the other one goes on the other corner, which uh, one of them just fell over. It's right over there. But we're going to stake that down, both of those down. I showed in one of my videos that everyone seemed to love. Um, but look at these. I transplanted my um, periwinkle over here. There's my pansies from seed that have been out here through a little bit of frost, but they've survived. They're, they're growing into each other nicely. Haven't bloomed yet. A little bit late. Oh, wanted to show my hellebores and the hostas coming up. I'm really loving those. Thinking I should maybe cut the ones that have fallen. Um, but I need to come in here and put some uh, sluggo uh, because I'm already seeing some something has been chewing away there at one of those leaves. So I need to get in there early. And I don't know about you guys, let me know, but my dog smells that sluggo and likes to hide back here. Thinks I don't notice, but he's probably working his way to eating that sluggo. That's not supposed to be toxic to dogs, but Eddie is so sensitive. His stomach, um, I don't want to risk him having diarrhea issues and keeping us up at night. So I moved the mat from the front door over here. Here's the uh, container that we planted with... Um, pansies that haven't bloomed yet but at least have grown. We planted some seeds, direct sowed some seeds in here. I don't know if they're going to come up. I wonder if the wind just blew them all away but here's one of the hanging baskets I picked up at Costco for $20. Look what the wind's done to these new tulips. So annoying. Um, but yeah the wind has just been so strong. Just checking out what I planted in there. English daisies, my other. But here's the uh, first haul of annuals that I picked up at Costco. So these are the sunshine and patience um, that last year I did in white around the base of my Norway spruces in the containers, those gray containers. Um, couldn't find white this year. I think I just picked those up before from a local grocery store, but these are nice large pots. It worked out to probably seven dollars for one of these um, containers. Um, but I will definitely get two, maybe three, two plants out of out of them so you can see. Um, so that's two, four, six, eight pretty healthy size annuals that I picked up at Costco for under $30. I think they were like $28, something like that. And then I found white geraniums, which is, I know I ordered one from Proven Winners that I paid $10 for, which is pretty steep from Proven Winners Direct, but we'll see. I'll test out those white ones and see how they do compared to these common ones. But because I have a greenhouse that's on its way, I'll move this lantern from the front door. I don't know what I'm going to do with it. It doesn't work anymore, but I don't want to add to the landfill. <laughs> um, and it's some Cosmos in here. Last year I did the common derpy ones that are pink. Um, but these are like a lemon yellow. We'll see how they do. Last year I just planted them in there and they did well. So we'll see what happens. Um, I moved my little girl here with her little bird bath dress. <laughs> Whoops, the wind just pushed my phone. Put her here for now. The greenhouse is coming. Um, is on its way and can arrive middle of next week or 
by Friday. The shipping company actually called me yesterday to schedule the delivery for next Friday. Um, I have a feeling it might come sooner just because they said five business days. But um, my husband was taking a look at where I wanted to put the Precipia, so we'll see how he's doing. And then I need to go work on my patio project. Oh, look at that. He already dug the first hole. So, good job. And then we'll go six feet over to the boomerang. So tired of seeing these knocked over and they haven't broken any branches yet, but that's, and then six feet over, we'll plant that one. And then we'll eventually um, do a kidney shaped island here to connect the Black Hills spruce. One less circle to have to mow around. 